Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now there's a difference between uh, a broken uh, down starter. You can hear the sound, something. It actually has loosened. It actually, a carbon brush has loosened. Now the old starter has, has a mileage of 200,000 km already. This is a new one. You can't really see, you can't really hear any sound. Okay, so this is the old one. Hear it again. There's something loose in here. Right? So this video, I'm going to show you how to change this engine starter. Okay, first, I use a 10mm T wrench to first remove this air intake filter box. Right? It's actually uh, secured by 5 10mm bolt. Oh, then remove the cover and also this uh, hose. Then uh, only I will able to gain access to this engine starter. Now, how do I know when I need to change it? Whenever your vehicle has traveled close to 200,000 km or you're having difficulties to crank start your vehicle. So, uh, that's 10 mm, and then uh, it's about time to change a new one, anyhow. So, sometimes you don't have time to change it. So, in an emergency, so what you need to do is actually you can actually knock onto the metallic surface of the starter to knock off the uh, carbon dust surrounding the armature so for safety reason remove the negative terminal use a 8 mm wrench remove it and then properly insulate the negative terminal to prevent any short circuit now this is a new unit actually two bolt here one here and then the other down there it across one to here and then the other one it's actually down underneath that uh, i can't see from this angle so what do i do uh, bowl, two of them. Okay, and there are actually two wire to disconnect. Okay, let's say you go underneath here. There you go. You see this one? There you go. 14 mm bowl. This is the one. So remove this one and the one upper. There. So use a 14 mm wrench, 12 point wrench, and then I do not have enough torque, so I need to increase the level arm. Uh, use another wrench, bigger size, bigger ring size. To gain more torque, okay, just to loosen this 14 mm nut. There you go. Ah, all right. Then uh, you can actually uh, remove the bowl already. Actually, uh, it's loosened now. Then you can continue with uh, removing the bowl. Then uh, I change my wrench. Ah, this is easier to work with tight spaces. So use this kind of uh, wrench. Help me to remove the bowl much much more efficient. Okay. Then. Uh, I've loosened this one. Okay, continue with this, right? 14 mm wrench. Luckily, I bought this the other day. So you, when you watch my video, you get to know what are the tools that you might need in case when you do it yourself, you need to prepare those tools that you might need, or otherwise you get stuck at somewhere you do not have enough, or you do not have a proper tool for you to work with. Then, uh, yeah, you go to stand here for a while. Just remember. okay. I go down there, there you go. Not this one, the red color covered by insulator, red color bowl. I, I want to get a new sleeve like this. If you know where to buy it, show me the link down there. No idea where to get it. So this is actually a 12, 12 mm, was a 12 mm socket. Uh, it's really tight spaces here. Uh, it would be nice to have an extender to extend this uh, socket. I'll show you another angle how this looks like. There you go. You need to have a really long extension. Screwdriver, try to push and pull. Press and then release. Yes, the negative terminal. It's only two wire. Then I can just bring it down from underneath. Yeah, this is the APM O starter. So this is an O1. This is a part number O1. And then the new one is this one. Okay, I get the same starter from APM. And then you can see there's actually the uh, super sprocket. This is a flywheel. Okay, where whenever you just crank inside engine, that is where you will turn. And then uh, from underneath here. Okay, this is the wire, the negative terminal. This is a positive terminal to be connected to the starter body. And before that, I will apply some dielectric grease onto the contact pin. Okay, squeeze some for better uh, contact or to reduce the contact resistance. Right, spread it wide, right, evenly on this negative terminal, followed by the uh, positive terminal. But I'll try my best to yeah, I'll try my best to spread it over negative uh, dielectric. Grease is something not so common here in uh, 
my country because uh, it's difficult for me to get this kind of uh, dielectric grease. If you know where to buy this, then let me know. I appreciate that. Then from top, just push it in parallelly and then uh, push it into place first. And then only pull it out to insert the positive terminal and then uh, insert the screw. I'll uh, insert the nut. The red color, yeah, use a long extension, tighten it. Right, yes, and then the cover. I think it's broken. Let me know where can I buy a new sleeve, better insulation. Then, oh, yes, the negative term is so difficult because it's really tight spaces. Try to push it in, and then I'll oh, take care of the camera as well. Right, then after that, I will secure the lower bowl first. Okay, this is the lower bowl you secure it first until at one point it's tightened. From time to time, I need to use my hand to try to align this starter followed by the upper one, then uh, tighten it, and then uh, the job is done, okay? Yes, of course, you must go up and down, okay? The lower bow followed by the upper bow, then until it's tightened, then done. Then remember to install all the bow for this air filter box. Remember, there are actually three bow, the bottom and one at the side. Now, um, this air filter, I've been using this for I think uh, 7,000 km mileage. Probably it will last for another 7,000. Or otherwise, uh, change this filter once every 20,000 km. So there are actually two types, Gen 2 and Persona. Persona air filter is smaller compared to Gen 2. Then next, I will connect the negative terminal and uh, the alarm will actually reset. Remember, use the AMM, tighten it, be very loud at first. Yes, this is the power of confidence. It works now. First time watching the video, can subscribe to my channel, push your thumbs up, and then see you in the next video. Bye bye.